or pardon me, Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Ana. Give me a second to get the camera taken care of here so I'm not quite out of focus. Looking like a quiet start to the day. We don't have much in the way of rainfall just yet, but we will have more opportunities for rainfall into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that in the forecast in just a little bit. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our online video weather blog designed to help you stay informed with what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South. Current conditions in this bar right here, 36 degrees just outside the News Channel 3 viewing office at about 7.41 a.m. on Thursday. Today's forecast a little bit warmer than what we saw over the last couple of days in West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and into eastern Arkansas. Forecast for tonight, looking again at temperatures only dropping to the mid-40s, and those southerly winds for today and tonight are going to do a very good job of helping to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit, so that's going to help us out a little ways. Still on the chilly side this morning and plenty of overcast skies, noticing again a little bit more of some cloudy overcast along Germantown Parkway in and around the area just south of I-40 in Cordova. So if you have any plans for outdoors, the umbrella will not be necessary today. Tomorrow, that may be a different story, so something to think about there. Next several hours into this afternoon, temperatures approaching the upper 40s to around the lower 50s. The clouds are going to do a good job of blocking out a good deal of sunshine, but you will be able to see at least a little bit more sun out there. And the clouds again filtering out the sunshine, making it just a bit cooler than what we're going to be seeing out there for normal, but at least we'll pick up some nicer temperatures than we saw over the last several days. Managing to make uh, about 12 hours of sunlight today, even though we couldn't see that much. We did have a very nice sunrise this morning. We'll talk more about that in the pictures coming up here in just a little bit, sent in by some of you out there this morning. 12 hours, 2 minutes of daylight tomorrow as sunrise will be a little earlier and sunrise a little bit later so we are getting closer and closer to springtime no precipitation yesterday and very cool we managed to hit a high of 44 and that is our normal low temperature for this time of the year so a very chilly day out there record high today nowhere possible that we're going to be getting anything out of that for today 82 set back during about world war ii 24, the record low, which was set back in 1900, so no record highs or lows for us today. Dry yesterday in Memphis. We're still ahead for the month by about a quarter of an inch, and we're behind for the year by almost two and a half inches, so we can definitely use a little bit more rainfall in the forecast. We may pick up some tomorrow, but it doesn't really look like a lot at this point. What are we seeing into tomorrow? Well, we do have, again, the clouds starting to drift into the area. The gray colors that you see on screen, this area right here is, again, what we're looking at in the way of just some scattered cloud cover out there. Some spotty sprinkles back to around central Arkansas, but beyond that, we're just not seeing that much in the way of any precipitation here. Now, the clouds continue to overspread the area. A little bit on the warmer side, very close to where the sunshine will be coming back in by about early this afternoon. So if you have plans for outdoors, again, the umbrella will not be necessary, but you may see the possibility of needing it tomorrow. We'll talk about that as we advance this here coming up. More clouds into tonight. News Channel 3 at 6 with Tim Simpson on the forecast, looking at numbers in the mid to high 40s, just below the lower 50s. Getting into tonight around News Channel 3 at 10. News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers will be here with your complete forecast. Upper 40s across much of the Mid-South. Heading into very early tomorrow morning, especially right around daybreak, that's where we see the rainfall starting to approach and develop and move into the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the next couple of days. We dry out, so this will be our best chance of rain until roughly about next Tuesday or so. No thunderstorms expected tomorrow morning, but we will be watching again for the possibility of maybe some rumbles of thunder out there, especially as we go later on into Friday afternoon and especially in the evening hours. So if you're heading out the door, tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day Friday. Take the umbrella with you. You are going to be needing it then. Rest of the day today, more clouds. Wish we had some blue skies like we see from the picture here down around the uh, government buildings area right off of Poplar Avenue in Memphis, but unfortunately going to be a lot more clouds out there. More chances of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow starting in the morning, continuing through the afternoon and making its way into Friday evening. So it could be some soggy travel out there. So please keep that in mind if you're doing anything outdoors. Now we could see some showers and thunderstorms very early Saturday morning around the pre-dawn hours somewhere in there, but very mild temperatures coming our way. The rest of the weekend looks very nice. Lots of sunshine out across the area. Numbers back in the lower to mid 60s for Saturday and Sunday, right almost exactly where we should be. So looking very good on the numbers there. And then Monday morning, 5.30, right before sunrise 
we start the spring season and that is the end of winter time not that we had much of a winter to begin with but we'll see some very mild temperatures mid 70s on Monday mid upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the rest of next week now we do see some showers and thunderstorms Tuesday Wednesday and again late Thursday into early on Friday so we could be again seeing the return of some rainfall out there so far the storm prediction center does not have us in a severe threat this time of the year though you got to watch out for stuff like that so stay tuned to the weather experts all of our forecast available at wreg.com slash weather and we will help you stay up to date on what's going on with weather in the mid-south here's another way to do it tonight new albany mississippi at the national guard armory at 917 fairground spur road in new albany that's going to be one of the final five severe weather training sessions for this year taught by the national weather service in memphis if you'd like to know more about this, again, head to wreg.com slash weather. We've got links. We've got this graphic here to show you more about this. These meetings last about an hour or so. They are available to you free of charge because your tax dollars and my tax dollars help to pay for stuff like that. Now, very important, there's two of them coming up next Thursday. One of them will be in Sardis, Mississippi at the Panola County EOC 100 MSG uh, William J. Farrell Drive. The other one will be in and around the for the Memphis metro area. That'll be taking place for Memphis and Shelby County at Lord of Life Lutheran Church, 6865 Poplar Pike in Memphis. That'll be next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like to take the course, show up, get the training, last again about an hour or so. You get to ask questions of the meteorologist and personnel from the National Weather Service, and you get a special toll-free number to where you can call the National Weather Service directly, let them know what's going on, they can tell people like me. I can tell everybody else who's watching him when severe weather coverage is going on. And working together, we can keep everybody safer than just hoping for the best. This is a great opportunity for you to practice a lot more community spirit. It's also, if you want to call it that, it's basically citizen science. It's your opportunity to learn a little bit more about the atmosphere, pass that on to your kids, pass that on to your business workers. This is your opportunity to learn more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South weather information out across much of the area. Don't forget about the forecast available this morning, Monday through Friday, uh, 7 to 9 a.m. First of all, on the Memphis AM radio show, and then at 8 o'clock with Bob and Josh talk back live my forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Thank you very much for all the great pictures. Memphis underscore Tom Sunset from Hernando, Mississippi last night. A beautiful view there. A beautiful view of sunrise this morning from Northeast Arkansas from News Channel 3 viewer Louis Haskett and another great one from viewer Z Blizz in and around the Collierville area this morning. So some beautiful conditions out there. Just a sliver of sunrise. If you've got pictures you would like to send along to us, please do so. Aonic underscore W WREG3. And whatever you do, whatever platform you've got, get our weather app, download it, stay in touch with what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area as we go throughout the rest of your day, week, month, all the way on through. A good opportunity for you to get our brand new and improved weather app from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. All you have to do is go to uh, the App Store, whatever App Store you uh, follow, whatever you've got out there, and search WREG Weather uh, for more information. Great opportunity for you to be able to stay updated on what's going on out there and of course don't forget about all the other social media networks that I'm on so we can help you stay informed across much of the Mid-South. Still working on Snapchat. I'm almost there so stay tuned. We'll get more on that coming up a little bit later on. We'll have updates coming up the rest of the morning on News Channel 3 on Live at 9. We'll also be on on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim is back tonight along with Jim. He'll be giving you the forecast starting at 1st at 4. They'll be giving you the forecast on 1st at 4 later on this evening and of course I'll have your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on Daybreak, live at 9 and noon, and throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more of my forecast coming up there from News Channel 3 in the downtown Memphis area. Again, cool today, not as cold as yesterday, a little less breezy, winds turning to the south, and very mild temperatures into the weekend as we close out one season and head for another one. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onick in the WRAG TV News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3, on air and online.